Hello everyone, I am Banim Lawan Abdurazak and I am here before you today with another good content on e-learning with school media with the topic microorganism in action. From the word micro, we all believe that it simply refers to tiny living things and they are fine anyway in the soil, in water, on our body, on our clothes, inside our body, etc. Some of these microorganisms are beneficial harmless and non-pantogenic while other causes disease are referred to as pantogenic and therefore harmful. So my con this is the division of my content. When you are studying this content you should be able to know the meaning of microorganisms, the types of microorganisms, the growth of microorganisms, the beneficial effect of microorganisms in nature, in medicine and industry and also harmful effect of some macros. So we are going to start with the meaning of microorganisms. Microorganisms are tiny living things which are normally not visible with our naked eyes but with the aids of microscope. So, therefore, there are many microorganisms than visible plants and animals in the world. We are going to look at the next slide with the type of microorganisms. They are included in the following terms all viruses, all bacteria, all protozoa, some fungi some algae and also the blue green algae so the next slide is the growth of microorganism the growth is just the process of depending on the availability of requisite nutrients and their transport into the cells and the environmental factors such as aeration o2 cell supply temperature and ph so double time refers to the time period required for doubling the weight of the biomass while generation time represents the period of doubling time normally increase, increasing the cell size and complexity so the next slide is the beneficial effect of microorganisms as i've said earlier the beneficial effect of microorganisms they are classified into three categories we have in nature in medicine and in industry so we're going to look at the one after the other in nature we have the compost formation compost formation is the bacteria that aid the compost formation through the decay of dead organisms and humus. So, and uh, the nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation, there is also the certain bacteria that aid nitrogen fixation into plant through the root of nodules of leguminous plants. The way we are going to look at the next one, which is so maintenance of soil fertilities. Most Saprophytic bacteria, due to their decomposition activities, release nutrients into the soil, which aids its fertility through nitrogen cycle. The digestion cellulose. Some bacteria live in the remains of ruminant animals, like cattle, sheep, and goats, help such animals to digest cellulose in the remains. Decomposition. Microorganisms, especially saprophytic bacteria, also aid the decomposition of dead plant and animal, thereby releasing the nutrients to the soil. Silage making. Some bacteria are also useful in the sewage making, which involves the preservation of pasture crops for future use. Sewage treatment. Bacteria are also involved in the decomposition of sewage into the harmful substances. So the next one is the in medicine. So here in medicine, we have the manufacturing of drugs, vaccine, sort of vitamin B sources of exam so manufacturing of drugs and vaccine are used in medicine for the manufacturing of drugs vaccine and antibiotics which helps in curing many human diseases e.g penicillin an antibiotic is obtained from the penicillin notatum a fungus and streptomycin another antibiotic is obtained from the bacterium called streptomycin gracious so the sort of vitamin b used an Certain bacteria are rich source of vitamin B complex. The last one here on under the uh, in, in in line with the medicine is the source of exam. Certain yeasts and bacteria are also rich source of exams like amyl amylase and invertase. So in industry here we have for baking the first one for baking used yeast bacon is useful in making industries as it causes dough to rise in bread and other allied food processing. Preparation of alcoholic drinks. The yeast is also useful in brewing industry as it is used for the fermentation of sugar to produce alcohol. Making of cheese and yogurt. Certain bacteria are used in food processing such as cheese, vinegar and yogurt. 
rating of jutes, certain bacteria action are used in the rating of jutes to obtain sac fibers from flax plants. Curing of tobacco bacteria are useful in the curing of or repenning of tobacco leaves, tanning of hides and skin. The action of bacteria is useful in the conversation of hide and skin to leather during the tanning process. So we're going to the next slide, which is the the harmful effect of some of a microorganism. They are here causes diseases, pollution of food, deterioration mater uh, materials, causes of death. So here we'll be looking at the diseases caused by this microorganism. Animal causes diseases by viruses. Animal diseases caused by viruses include the folimolientes infection, hepatitis, measles, common cold, German measles, influenza, smallpox, chicken pox, yellow fever, rabies, acquired immune deficiency syndrome, which is the HIV, food and mouth diseases, render pest and newscastle diseases. So uh, in plants, we have some, vir some viruses. Plant diseases caused by the viruses include the rosette diseases, cassava, mosaic diseases, maize streak, yam mosaic diseases, cowpea mosaic diseases, leaf coil, stratesa, bites top diseases, and swollen shoot diseases. So that's for this slide. We are going to look at the summary here, which uh, we all believe that with the invention of the microscope, open up the world of very minute living organisms called microorganisms. Known commonly as germs or macros, they are found almost everywhere in the, in the world or in nature. They also have stayed in water, air, soil, and so on. So, they are commonly dreaded as diseases causes agent. They are known as pathogens and are mainly the parasitic microorganism. So, I have the assignment of the week for you. So, you are to list and explain the method of measuring the growth in microorganism. That's the first one. The second one, name the growth of microorganism. The third one is, which, with the aid of diagram, describe the shapes of bacteria. The fourth one is, differentiate between the a carrier and vector of a disease. The last one here is, name four carriers or vector, and the microorganism they carry include the associated disease. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.